There has been a lot of innovations to reduce the size of the camera and get rid of the bulky lenses, but all of the innovations, including the light L16 or the smartphone cameras that you use right now, has a lens in it, be it big or small, it has a lens. What Japanese multinational Hitachi is doing is turning the laws of optics upside down. It's getting rid of the lens. Come on, even our eyes have lens and those with contact lenses, they have two lenses per eye. But the point is removing the lenses specifically focused on improving the camera technology. And you don't have to worry about dongles and connectors. What this means, what advantages or disadvantages will this have over traditional cameras? More on this coming up. Before we begin, if this is your first time here and you're looking for most interesting stories, tutorials, updates, tips and tricks from the creative community, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let's get started. So what is it? Japanese multinational company Hitachi is working on a camera that doesn't have lenses. Not only that, the company also claims that the camera can refocus after you have taken a picture. Trust me, you will be surprised to see how much more compact a camera can be when the lens is taken out of the way. Not only does the camera is compact, not only is it lensless, but also the camera captures depth information. Depth information allows you to select which part of the image do you want to focus. Also, it allows you to adjust the aperture or the depth of field or in layman's concept, the background blur. Besides, let me make one thing clear. This is not a concept product. The company is actually thinking about commercializing this technology as early as in 2018. But listen, how does it work? You see, I have linked the official press release by Hitachi themselves where they go on to explain how the camera works and stuff like that. But trust me, it's all technical mumbo jumbo. Makes sense to only one percent of the people who call themselves geeks. Simply put, the camera uses a specialized kind of film in front of the image sensor. The film directs the light onto the image sensor in a specific pattern. And the camera uses that pattern to reconstruct the image using specific computational algorithms. But if you are a real geek, I insist you do check out the article. Links are in the description below. Okay, I, I don't really care how it works. Just tell me whether the quality is good. Will I be able to use it for my future videos? See, the thing is, it's a completely new technology and the company itself is not as experienced in the photography segment as the Canon, the Nikon, the Sony or Olympus. So it would be safe to assume that the quality of image taken by this camera won't be nearly as impressive as those taken by the traditional cameras. Based on my personal experience, one of the things that I wanted to highlight is that the imaging technologies that allow you to focus after you have taken the picture they don't simply look real, they look fake. For example, the light L16 or the Lytro. A recent example would be taking the image from smartphone camera which has two lenses. The two lenses, what they do is they capture the depth information and apply depth information to the image that you have already taken and then apply blur to that image. They just don't look real. As you can see in this example, the image on the left is taken by a Nikon D300S which in itself a seven year old camera using a f2.8 D lens and one on the right is the latest iPhone 7 Plus. As you can see, both have blurred the background pretty well when looked from a distance. But if you zoom in and look at the hairs, you can clearly point out the fakeness of this smartphone. Here the smartphone used depth information to artificially create background blur, while in the DSLR, the background is actually blurred due to the wider aperture of f2.8. See, for any photographer or videographer, the quality is the top priority. If the quality is not that good, what's the point? Do you remember the days when mirrorless cameras had just came out? You know, it had a lot of issues, right? It had battery issues, it ha still has battery issues, the image quality was not as good as the DSLRs. But today, as you can see, the technology has developed so much that some cameras like the Sony A7S II or the Olympus, uh, some new Olympus camera and the Panasonic GH4, they are actually beating the DSLR, at least in the video segment. So the birth of the technology is in itself a huge step. If it's brought into the market, we can expect developments to follow up. Besides, Hitachi says that it expects the camera to be used in robotics, self-driving cars, mobile devices and human behavior analysis systems. So 
It's not there yet to replace the traditional cameras. It's there for other purposes and it can be greater. What do you think? Will this technology take off or just get ignored like the 3D TVs? It raises a lot of questions because it simply throws away the optics out of the map. What would be the focal length? What would be the aperture? See, the, the term focal length won't even make sense because there is no lens. What would be the resolution and so on? But one thing is for sure, if this technology works out correctly, if not photography, it will have a variety of applications. So guys, that's all for today. Let me know down in the comments below what other application can you think of for this technology. Also, like the video if you liked it, dislike if you dislike it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and thank you so much for watching.